What's up guys? It's the Nintendo fan and we are back for more Super Mario 64. And before this part, some, I did some unfinished business in Bowser in the Dark World. Did that Well did some or collected some stars in Dark Dark Docks and defeated Bowser a second time in the Fire Sea. And in this part, I think we're gonna finish up uh, Dark Dark Docks. By going through the jet stream. Gee, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Where have we heard? I feel like we've done this mission somewhere else, but where? Oh, that's right, Jolly Roger Bay. <laughs> that's right, too. And I know just how to get that star. And we got <laughs> caps right here. And what you want to do is grab the metal one. Actually, this is different. For a second, I thought that. For a second, I thought that was the same exact mission, but well, I am right about one thing though. You do need the metal cap, but we have to go through those rings first. So I got a little ahead of myself there. Of course, it has been a while since I last played this game, and I knew. I well, thought I knew it very well. Here we go. And Mario's foot is phasing through the gate. Or brig, whatever it's called. But on to the next mission. Which is The Mana Ray's Reward. Aha. And we're gonna go to this mana right here. As it leaves behind rings. Okay, I believe they refilled Mario's air, and I'm missing them. You don't want to go too fast. Come on. Okay, missed it. Luckily, they refill your air. And we got all five rings, and th the star is right above the cyclone. Oh, this is not gonna be good. But we got it. Here we go! With zero coins collected. Wonderful. Our final mission is collect the cats. Now this one's an interesting one. We'll get to that when we get to the area. But I believe the uh, Manta Ray Reward uh, mission is the inspiration to the Mario Party minigame Mana Rings from Mario Party 4. Where you had the players uh, swimming underwater going through rings, which... That mana ray will actually leave behind, very much like what he did in this level. But as you see, we have a vanish cap and a metal huh, cap. Let's grab the vanish first, and the metal. So yeah, we're combining the power of two of and cap abilities. And this is the only time that ever occurs. This is the only combination. Like, imagine Vanish Cap and uh, Wing Cap, put or Metal with Wing. But, we got it. Continue 
for that saving, and we finished up all of Dire Dire Docks. Let's get out of here. Now, Dire Dire Docks has actually changed in the uh, DS version, and I'll talk about it later. Oh yeah, and same with the, uh, that door that leads to the princess slide. I'll get into that too. But now we are, we're actually going to do the third floor, or second floor, I should say. But let's talk to this toad. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. When you go to the water town, you can float it with a high jump and a, into the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. And that's another power star from a toad. Here we go! Wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the castle. No, I don't want to save. And we actually have paintings of previous worlds that we can't go through. So it's not an another access. <laughs> Another way to access the level, excuse me. But we want, what we want to do is go through this door, and this is the room with the mirror. And we can see the lack of two filming us. And we can't see it too, but from the fourth wall, but we can see the reflection. And as you can see, we get these reflections, and there, there's this something that's not in our world. It's a snow world. Let's go through that wall. To Snowman's Land. Snowman's Big Head. And we have another snow level. I like those. Ah, this water right here. You don't want to stay on it for too long because... Mario will actually take damage if you <laughs> stay in the water. And you know you don't heal up, as obviously. And we got these, this, uh, wave making machine here. There's little, there's little waves, and bigger ones later. And, I think, I believe these are supposed to be snowman faces, but they look like Shy Guy. <laughs> faces to me. Huh. Let's go up here. And we're approaching the snowman's head. But if we get close enough... Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? Snow flea? Whatever it is, it's bugging me. I think I'll blow it away. And if you let that snowman blow Mario off, <laughs> Mario will lose his hat. And that... And the penguin's the, the way to block the wind, which it will move back every now and then. I think you can actually climb on the penguin's head and you'll be fine, no problem, but here's our star. And I like the pun in the uh, course, course name, Snowman's Land, like No Man's Land. Our next mission is to chill with the bully. And that bully is right here. This is the only uh, <laughs> ice bully in the whole game. And we defeated it within three seconds. That was it. Here we go. I believe that the uh, Ice Bully gets a redesign in the DS version. Because <laughs> in this version, he looks like Planet Neptune <laughs> or something. But our third mission is in the Deep Freeze, and it's right here. Uh, give me a little uh, 3D maze here. Not that hard, really. Oh, there it is. That was it. That was it.
Let's get let's get another star, shall we? And it's World from the Freezing Pond. Now this one might be a little tricky. And you'll see why once we get to the freezing pond area. How's it going, Spindrift? Oops. Walked it right into that. And these spindrifts right here. They're the only way to get to that part of the level. And if you can dig out both of them and not get there, you pretty much have to start over again. And we got a Kuba shell, but I'm not going to board that because this is what we're after. Here we go! Alright, let's go back in. Shell shredding for red, red coins. Huh? Let's compare to these coins. And we have a fake coin here. This is a money bag. Hopping around like a frog. But if you defeat it, you actually get a b bunch of coins. And they go everywhere. And we got it before it disappears. Thank goodness. But Let's pound these bendrifts. I think this is the only game that spindrifts appear. I mean, who knows? Maybe they may appear in another Mario game in the future. I mean, if we can see the bullies appear again and charging chucks, we can see the return of any that any enemy. Egg. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this, Mr. Blizzard. There we go. I think I was too close to it. Uh oh. Yeah, it's been driven. Fly guy. Whoa. And by the way, if you were to touch this ice, it's basically the equivalent of um, stepping on lava. You got some ice here and an amp. Let's see here. They got the spindrift. Another money bag. And they actually got a redesign in later Mario games. Actually, out of curiosity, how much damage does the snowball do? One damage. And g physical contact is two. Come on! And it did one final hit. <laughs> oh well. And really quick, before I go to the the freezing pond. Go back to the freezing pond. I want to do something real quick. Oh no! Hang on a second.
Oh no! And that's what happens if Mario gets blown off. He loses his hat. There we go. Alright, let me meet you back up. Well, hello. Didn't I take you out earlier? Yeah, those Mr. Blizzards do reappear. But they don't lose coin, or they don't yield coins if you've already defeated one. But, I'll meet you back to where I was. Alright, I'm back where I was. And yes, you can actually be on, get on that penguin's head. And the snowman will not <laughs> blow you away. So you can just let go of the control stick. <laughs> Uh-oh. There we go. Now that we're in the clear, I want to go down here. You see this igloo here? Let's crawl into it. What the? That, how do you teleport? But whatever. Go in here and it's sit bigger in the inside, much like the TARDIS in Doctor Who. We got Goombas. And here and here's the Bob on Buddy. Let's go talk to it. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. And he prepares the cannon from inside this igloo. And this igloo is actually where a, a lot of the coins are. So I, so I want to go in here real quick to get those coins before I get the coins from outside. Spindrifts. Hey, we have a vanish cap. And it, the vanish cap's the only way to go through the ice. <laughs> Get all those coins. Now, the inside of the igloo actually changes in the DS version, and Mario's invincible. Up until now. I mean, I only got two of the red coins. Found the spindrift. And this one. And I think we're good here. Uh-oh. Oh, get out of here, get out of here! Uh oh! And you actually heard Mario say boing when he get jumped on the spin drift. But, really quick, let me grab this coin and get the 100 coin star. No, I don't want to save. No, you'll see why I got the coin. No, that right in that location of all places. First of all, grab this uh, Koopa shell. And watch out, there's Mr. Blizzard. You do not want to get the 100 coin star down here, because if you collect the coin from down there, Mario gets off the Koopa shell and thus uh, kills himself. Basically. Oh wait. But. But there's the star. Here we go. All right. One more star. And it's into the igloo. And we have a little shortcut with that cannon we activated earlier. And aim right about here. Yep, same dialogue as before. 
Wow! That was a fail! Right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get out of the water! Hang on, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try that again. Cause that was just horrible. Alright, trying the shortcut again. Right about there. There we go. That was much better. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Nintendo uh, changed the igloo in the DS version. But, whatever. At least it's different. Oops. And I couldn't use the spin drift to lift me up. But, grab this vanish cap. And the star is right here. Very easy. That's yet another course we finished in one video. They're just that easy. And we're done right here. And this was this was course ten. And this is course eleven. And then and in the next part, we're gonna start course ten. Or course eleven, excuse me. See you guys later.